Vandana. Today's recipe is Chila. Chila is a savory pancake snack that's made out of gram flour and it's very flexible as you can vary different kinds of vegetables that go into it. It's very healthy snack or breakfast item and you can give this to your kids lunch box and pack it up with some jam or ketchup and they will love it. So let's get started. For this recipe we need half a cup of besan or chickpea flour also known as gram flour half a tomato chopped, one green chili chopped fine, quarter teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder, one fourth cup of coriander chopped, water for mixing the batter. I've taken a deep mixing bowl and we'll add basin in it. Now add haldi, chopped coriander, tomatoes, green chili, now I will start adding water and mix it with a whisk. Add little water at a time. I feel I may need one cup of water for half a cup of flour but that may not just turn out. So I'm going to add little water at a time and see the consistency of the batter. And I will tell you in a minute how much water I have used. If you add the water quickly it may form lumps that will be hard to take off later. So for a half a cup of flour, take about maybe half a cup of water or up to three fourth maximum, depending on how you feel comfortable spreading the batter. For the time to add salt per taste, give it a mix. And if you're in a rush, you can straight away make pancakes out of it now or just let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and your batter is ready to spread. We have a pan heating up and I will go ahead take a spoonful of batter and start adding it on the pan directly spread it like a, in a circle like in a pancake don't worry about the shape at times it's still going to taste good you can even put some grated cheese or paneer and that makes it even more nutritious. Let it cook and as you can see it's still wet on the top, few bubbles will start forming and once it seems like it's cooked on the top um, we are going to flip it but now at this point I'm going to add a very few drops of oils around so that's easier to flip and rose golden brown. As you can see that on the top the chila is kind of dry now I'm going to try flipping it It has gotten a little golden brown on the top. Let it cook on the other side. This batter is very flexible. You can either reduce the amount of water or increase for the way you like if you feel comfortable while spreading on the pan. Also about the vegetables, I have added tomatoes. You can add onions, carrots, bell peppers, the way you like. So I just flipped it over again and you can see there's some golden spots on the top. and. Uh, this uh, chila seems ready. I'm going to take it off the pan. Work with the rest of the chilas the same way. Basin chilas are ready and we are going to serve this with tomato ketchup. If you have green chutney or any other tamarind chutney, you can all this with that also. Thanks for watching Chatpat Kitchen. We will see you again with the next recipe.